Welcome to my multi-trillion dollar empire. This is the closest I will ever get to one of these. My name is James, this is Adventure Capitalist. It is our sponsor for the week and a couple of weeks upcoming as well. Let me buy, actually, I'm not gonna buy any upgrades at the moment cause I wanna show you the bare mechanics of how this game works. This is kind of a clicker by way of a, I guess, capitalism sim, I suppose. So you can see me tapping these orange bars. I've got 21 trillion to spend, basically. Uh, and I've kind of leveled up to the point where I've bought everything I can on Earth. I say Earth because I've also gone, let me just head on to my adventures, to the moon. They've clearly leaned into this whole uh, capitalism speak business. And I've earned 2.86 million uh, on the moon. That's quite nice. So my moon setup at the minute is a lot more modest. As you can see, I have not bought a lot of what's going on. And this is how I'm going to show you the mechanics of how the game works. So, in the current state, we're in clicker mode here for the most part. I have to tap on each of the businesses. You can see them flashing there on the left-hand side to activate their little money generation cycle. You can see the green bars going up. Once they've generated the money, it stops. And I need to tap them again. Look at the uh, phone box there in order to generate more. The thing I can also do is buy upgrades, invest money in the businesses and basically increase the number of outlets. So I've got like 33 of these little telephone box moon basey things uh, and I can hit that and go 34, 35, 36 and you can see I'm spending the money at the top of the screen. You'll notice I have to manually hit all of these businesses in order to start their revenue cycle if you like, to start them making money, except for the boots at the top. You can see that bar is going up by itself constantly refreshing, constantly generating cash. That's because the boot business has a manager. If I go in here at the bottom of the screen, you can see managers. Now I can start buying managers to run, for example, the gravity booths, the payday clones, the moon delivery bases that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy these right now. Buy, buy, buy. When I go back to the screen and now look, the businesses are automatically generating the revenue for me. I don't have to click anymore, except for buying the upgrades. And this is the thing you have to keep an eye on because every time I buy an upgrade, you can see, if you look at the moon boots base at the top, it's costing me 384 million, right? Is it million? 384,000 perhaps. Uh, and every time I hit that, the number that's being generated, the number behind the green bar, it's on 28665, now it's 28980, now it's 29. So every time I'm investing, the money that it generates through each cycle increases. So you can see the numbers start to exponentially go up. Now I've got the opportunity down here to buy a whole new business. This is an oxygen bar. I'm gonna invest, ooh, half a billion in it. No, half a half a million, half a million, 585,000, yada, yada. And very quickly, you can see I bought three upgrades and now I can't buy any more because I'm down to 130,000. But with these managers working away, I can walk away from my iPad and I can leave them to it. I can let them sort themselves out. But I can also do some upgrades as well. So for example, this little shrinky buckles thing lets me increase my moon profits by three. The other way you can start increasing the amount of money you generate over time is by hitting the little milestones. You can see how this is like, at the top here, it's 93 out of 160 for the boots. Down here, with the little smiley faces, uh, if I upgrade this, you can see it's 17 out of 20, 18, 19. Now keep an eye on the bottom left, 20. Now, the profits of my payday clones go up three times. So every time I hit a milestone, it adds a multiplier. So again, numbers going up exponentially. So all I need to do is keep coming here and just checking in and buying the things that I think are gonna generate me most profits, I guess in the short term initially, but then you start looking to the long term because you can look at that top one and say, well, it's generating the least out of all of them. These moon boots are, are kind of nothing. Back on earth, you're generating money by selling lemonade. It's like setting up a lemonade stand like you might do when you were a kid. In fact, let's just jump back to earth for the time being because this is my while I was gone, 126 billion. Compare that to what I was earning over on the moon, it's it's nothing. This is its own little absolute machine. Now, I could just leave it like this, ticking away, constantly coming back in, buying maybe some upgrades and just seeing the numbers go higher and higher. But what it's offering me the chance to do here is bring on angel investors. Now, this will be the first time I've done this, but this comes at a cost. So angel investors, unlike managers, they massively increase the value of your business, but I have to restart everything. So claim it with a restart. I can either claim and keep progress by using gold. I've earned some gold. I haven't paid any money into this game. I've, I've earned some gold passively, but I'm gonna reset everything. And now 
I'm not going to watch the ad because, you know, we're, we're recording, but you can watch ads to increase the multipliers on things, and it's very easy just to hit the ad and walk away from your iPad and come back and then, uh, oh, look, I've had two, three times more, which is kind of handy. Now, let's have a look. All oh, right, uh, yeah, I'm literally back to the beginning now, and I'm back to buying my lemonade stands, and I'm having to tap this manually. It's not doing it by itself. I have to use my human finger like a chump in order to earn the cash back, just like I was doing over on Mars. However, starting from the beginning again, I'm starting from a base where even now I'm earning more money than I would initially have earned during my first run. So the potential to earn more is massively higher. Let me have a look here and see what we've got. I can already buy... Oh, no, I can't. It's just pointing out the angels. So here are the angels that I can buy. Hire one of these to run your business or to maximize efficiency. So let's... Let's spend an angel to get this going and go back. So hopefully, once I get a manager on board, these angels will bring in substantially more cash for me, both long term and short term. You can also see a whole bunch of stuff down the side of the screen, right? So yeah, there are daily events that you can go and participate in. If I hit the event button, you can go and take care of specific bonuses and get, do things for achievements. And you know how daily events work. Come on, we're all people here. Here are the goals. Here are the daily event goals. Earn rewards, climb ladders, go to leaderboards. Blah, 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 60 points, fantastic. Claim, claim away. I've got a bit of extra gold there, why not? You've also got things that you can do to trigger short-term boosts. So for example, you can uh, hit power-ups on the side of the screen too. I'm gonna get out of here. Maximize uh, what you are currently doing. Oh, this is cool, it sets up its own little thing. Pyramid cranes, Viking razors. Oh, neat. What's the little dinosaur dude? What is that, what's the business? Hang on, let me just check the managers. Dino Shock. Dino Shock collars? Is that what this business is? That's adorable. Anyway, sorry, let's get back to the main uh, Earth page. Here we go. We can do a quick run, which automatically just, you know, starts the thing generating cash for you. I need to start buying more things and unlock the car wash again. So the way that they kind of keep drawing you back into the game is to not like just let you max out and then leave you there, but it's to kind of get you to restart once more. I'm gonna spend 18% of my angel investors on the oil companies, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy this oil guy yet because I don't actually have the oil company yet, but think of this whole reinvestment starting from the bottom with the new investors and are working up again. It's kind of like a new game plus where you get massive boosts in the long term, right? I'm, surely we can buy a manager now. Come on, can we get that manager? No, not yet, nuts. So I'm still doing things by hand. It feels like a weird step down again. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but it's like going back and starting a new business. You see this a lot with uh, the business world. They build a huge company, these mad business magnates, and then they go back and then they start a new one. Yes, you can run the lemonade stand. We're back in business. Look at those profits. Look at them go, 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 generating while I'm not even there. Let's go back and check on the moon. You can also see here the Mars event is also there. I probably have to complete the moon in order to get there. 23.254 million, which is fine. Watching ads, I genuinely do that after I log back in because it doubles whatever you've earned. And again, just put the iPad down and start making a coffee or something. And uh, you'll earn a whole lot more cash. We've got a helium farm going on here. Now, I'm also going to be showing you guys some tips on how to play this game. Tips that come directly from the developers. We've spoken to them and uh, they've gone, here you go, here's how you do well in the game. Because obviously I'm just a beginner, but they sort of know what they're doing. So I'll be doing another video upcoming to show you how to play this game perfectly according to the devs. But in the meantime, this is Adventure Capitalist. Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.